Most of us are familiar with MoneyGram, especially those who send or receive money from other parts of the country or from foreign shores. But how many of us are familiar with what the MoneyGram Foundation, the company's CSR arm, has done or continues to do for those who need help? This is the logo of MoneyGram, the red collar bold and familiar to many Filipino families. This remittance company has been part of many Filipino lives both here and abroad, and six years ago, MoneyGram started their CSR arm, the MoneyGram Foundation. Alex Lim, MoneyGram Philippines a country manager, tells us more about their foundation. MoneyGram Foundation started uh, 2012 in um the focus has always been in the field of education. Education is the foundation of a generation's future, and it is in this context that the company has decided to focus mainly on education as their corporate social responsibility project. Based on studies, only 65 out of 100 children are able to finish school due to poverty. On a recent outing, MoneyGram Foundation partnered with Black Pencil Project and brought cheers to students in Santa Inez Elementary School in the province of Rizal. And this is Elizabeth Laurio, a student of Santa Ines Elementary School who embodies many other students in far-flung areas. Minsan po wala kaming damit kasi po kapos po yung pera namin. Ang wish ko po sana po maging kompleto yung, yung ano po namin, yung mga gamit namin pang school. Because of MoneyGram Foundation's efforts, they have brought cheers to students of the remotest schools who can now enjoy their period of learning with the proper tools. They brought hundreds of school packs and teacher kits to remote schools like Santa Ines and even braved the long ride to the mountain province. MoneyGram Foundation's partnership with Black Pencil has again brought cheers to these young students who proudly toss their school kits and thank the foundation for making their dreams come true one small step at a time. This is a MoneyGram Pencil Scholar Red right? of Obviously, because money gram is right. This is part of our uh, activity um, um, early last year and a late latter part of 2016. Uh, it's a, a, we, we partner with a group called the Black Pencil. Uh, so we give our school supplies uh, to areas in Tanay, in Luzon. We went to Cebu. There's a place called Bantayan Island. It's a bit far. And the Mountain Province. That's really far. So we give our school, uh, school uh, supplies to all the students there. So far, MoneyGram Foundation has donated about 30,000 books to different schools, mostly public schools. The 30,000 books, we gave it out to, in Luzon, the, the, the main hub was Pangasinan. And in Manila, there's a lot of different schools. We went to the biggest high school in the Philippines, called the Rizal High School in, in Pasi. Uh, we give to the entire UP system. Uh, um, in, then we give to Cebu for the Visayas region and Davao naman for the, for the Mindanao region. Yes, we were there with them when we give out all the books. The books are all sourced from the U.S., most of them published by McGraw-Hills, a prominent American publisher of books. We have books for element, for even for preschool we have, elementary we have high school and a lot on on uh, college but the college books are very wide you know we have books focus on management we have books focus on chemistry biology physics and all these things you know so and uh, physical education so the, the book is very very wide you know? uh, it's not only focused on or, or I could say uh, these are not the books na, na ayo ng gamitin no these are brand new books and very uh, these are uh, latest edition and very relevant. 
Because their main focus is education, the foundation has also built classrooms in Yolanda stricken areas in the Visayas region, specifically in Bohol and Capiz. These are not your typical classrooms. The foundation built these classrooms and calls them Noah's Ark because these classrooms can serve as temporary shelters in case of calamities. Inside my restroom, there is a pantry, a uh, I mean, uh, place to wash things so people can really stay there. Because normally, people, yung mga, yung mga, yung mga classroom, ang problema kasi walang restroom. Walang. It, this has everything in there. So we built a number of that in the Yolanda affected area. Hundreds of public school students have benefited from these specially made classrooms because, as Alex says, they are the ones who need facilities like these the most. The aim of MoneyGram is to help educations, uh, mainly focusing on the different schools. Uh, what we've done already is we have given out school classrooms throughout the Philippines. We have also donated books, one 40-footer container of books. And now we're here, uh, we have donated, in partnership with Black Pencil, uh, we are donating um, school supplies, art, art supplies, to far-flung areas like here in Tanay. You know? We have to cross seven, uh, do seven crossings of the river just to be here. The foundation has also partnered with several organizations here and abroad to bring their message of hope to other school children in different countries. We have uh, uh, Books for Asia, Habitat for Humanity, Black Pencil Project, and Damina. The foundation has reached schools in impoverished countries and they have spent a significant amount to further their vision of helping school children. Now in its sixth year, MoneyGram Foundation will continue to help students build on their dreams. The plus for the year is still focus on education, okay? Uh, maybe because uh, in terms of education, there's a lot of different areas. Eh? Aside from the books, aside from the school supplies, aside from the uh, school classroom, there are other areas that we can still look into. Uh, but I think depending on the needs, uh, we have plans to give out um, a mobile library. We have talks already, you know, so park in a certain place, we put up, set up, they can open books, and after that we will donate some books all again to the school. You know? So we have plans already on that one. Also, part of their corporate social responsibility is to create awareness among their own employees about the importance of sharing and the value of education. They encourage all of their employees to help out in the education project to donate to this cause. The foundation matches the employee donations 100%. Because many now know of the foundation's mission, they receive letters from schools requesting for funding or donations for books and supplies. The foundation evaluates these requests and, according to need, will continue to provide support to these needy school institutions. That is because this is their way of giving back for their much-deserved success. Please continue to support MoneyGram uh, as we continue the MoneyGram Foundation CSR activities around the Philippines. It is a uh, MoneyGram way of saying thank you to all our, um, our partners, customers uh, for supporting us throughout the years. Thank you. That was MoneyGram Foundation, this week's feature on our CSR segment.